Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There's Klingons on the starboard bow, starboard bow, starboard bow. There's Klingons on the starboard bow. Scrape them off, Jim! Got my Elkar screensaver courtesy of Data Lore in the chat room. He sent a link off. Runs on both Windows and OS X. This particular question is also related to uh, cross-platform compatibility. It's about a particular program known as VNC. Actually, it's less of a program and more of a, a type of service. VNC stands for Virtual Network Computing, and the idea behind it is that I can access any computer that's running VNC software. Any computer, no matter the operating system. So I could have software running on OS X, I can have software running on Windows, I can have software running on my Linux box. I can access them all from any computer with this VNC software. Now there's free versions of VNC and there's paid versions of VNC and there's different levels of security and whatnot. The question was specifically if I could recommend a VNC server client for OS X. And there's not a lot of them out there. Uh, someone had recommended uh, just a few minutes ago a Chicken of the VNC. I love the name, however, I didn't find it to be uh, one of the better clients for OS X. I did, however, find uh, one program, it's been around for, gosh, seemingly forever. Uh, it's, it's known as, well, it was formerly known as uh, OS X or OS X VNC. Now it's known as Vine Server, uh, and with it, it's free. Uh, I can run on my local network here. Um, this is now what you see in the, the picture in picture here now instead of the, the chat room. Since I run, my camera is actually fed into my Mac because it's, it's the most stable platform for what I'm doing and it, it works with the firewire connectivity of my camera which happens to be a GL2 at this point. I run the, the VNC server. It, it, that sounds complicated, really. The software is really simple to set up, especially if you're already on a home network. I set it up, set up a password. It, it, there's a it, there's a port defined. Hopefully you don't have to worry about too much of this stuff. This first uh, panel is really all you have to worry about. Password, uh, the display name, and then it gives me some IP addresses, and then I can go on further details, the system, sharing, start, st set it on startup and do advanced stuff. So I've got this server running in the background. What does that mean? That means I can connect to that machine without touching any of its hardware. I can connect to it because it's, it's now the VNC software, the server, is running inside of OS X. So I'm going to go over here and look at this. Now I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit closer, not too close though. This is what I see in front of me. This is OS X. Let me minimize some windows so you can get rid of some clutter so you can see what I'm talking about. This client, this is a VNC viewer for Windows. This is Ultra VNC. It happens to be my choice. Uh, for VNC software for the Windows platform. Uh, it, it, it comes with both a, a viewer as well as the server. So I can access, with a VNC client on the Mac, I can access my Windows machine just by typing in, well, I use local uh, network names. So here I can control anything. Uh, again, I'm using, look, this is my, this is my Windows, this is my Windows mouse here. This, I'm using Windows. Watch what happens when I drag the preview window for the camera over the chat include, the chat overlay. So I'm controlling OS X, everything that's happening on OS X on that machine, I'm controlling from Windows. Very cool and very free. VNC can literally change the way you think about controlling your home network or accessing your home network when you're on the road. Now in terms of security, that's a different story. I wouldn't say that VNC, it, there, there have been exploits in the past and there's definitely, if you're looking for more robust uh, client interactivity. Uh, you may go with uh, some people have recommended terminal services or uh, you know even other advanced uh, software from either Citrix like a, a go to my PC. But for me, I've always gone and been very very happy with VNC, largely because there's so much software available and it's just inherently not tied to any specific vendor. And that for software makes me very very comfortable. Um, any kind of security uh, issues that happen, um, most of the VNC clients and servers that uh, are out there and, and constantly updated are updated with those particular patches. So my choice for a VNC client or I guess server for OS X, which was the original question, is definitely Vine Server, which used to be known as OS X VNC. My recommendation for the Windows platform viewer, VNC viewer, and VNC server is Ultra VNC.